If you own an MG Comet or a Windsor Pro, this is where the most essential part of your car, the battery pack, is put together. This is MG's battery assembly facility in Halol, Gujarat and we'll take you through the process step by step. It all starts with these individual LFP cells. The Windsor Pro has 98 of these and the Comet uses 36. These cells are then tested one by one before moving forward. The cells are then packed together and then placed into a huge metal tray that will eventually be affixed to the car's floor pan. Check out the cooling system. This sits between the battery pack and metal tray and expectedly takes heat away from the cells. After that, these small aluminium pieces called bus bars are placed on top of each cell to bridge the terminals. And then this automated laser welding robot welds each bus bar to its respective terminal with immaculate precision. Once the weld strength from the first round of laser welding is validated, the battery pack goes for another round of laser welding, this time manual, because it's for smaller nodes, about 1-2mm, to two millimeters, that require even greater precision. Over on this line, the technicians will attach stuff like the cables, gaskets, harnesses, and importantly, the BMS module or the battery management system, which is essentially the brain of your EV. At the end of the line, all of this is tested for one last time before it goes for the charging and discharging cycle. In this room, the battery packs all undergo a simulated charge-discharge cycle that takes about three and a half hours to complete. The battery pack is then brought out for technicians to apply a waterproofing gasket and a metal cover on top. One final two to three minute test and voila, the 52.9 kilowatt hour battery pack for the Windsor EV Pro is ready. Did you find this interesting? Let us know in the comments.